there's this district is on that way. That's the tallest tower in the country. Haile Selassie. And yeah, that's Haile Selassie. So guys, that is Ethiopia written right behind me. And with Fer. Fer. Fer is gonna be for Harar region. They got arts on the wall. So hello guys, today I'm at Unity Park. As you can see, it's right behind me. So guys, today I'm at Unity Park. I'm gonna be showing you guys around. So the entrance, I think they charge foreigners way more, but they charge me 300 bucks. I think they think I'm, I'm from here, but somehow I don't speak the language or something like that. They did not charge me as much as I expected. Um, this is the park behind me. So the grass is very clean. So they charge you a bit of money, but I guess at some at the end of the day it's kind of worth it. The flowers are also good. You can see that right there. Um there are many people taking their pictures with their family. It's a nice place to hang out. And basically just do a bunch of stuff. So there's this district is on that side. That's the tallest tower in the country. I'm gonna go show you guys land in a bit. They are black main lines, and um, yeah, this is the park. Black main lines, interesting fact. This is a low lying yala. It's like a type of antelope. It belongs to the Boba family. And yeah, you can see how much they weigh. Uh, in the place, it's like a group kind of. And he's just eating while staring at me. Another part, part perk of Unity Park. You can see the city skyline. Far what does that look like? That's the palace, the old palace, Menelik's palace. I'm still walking in the park. I think there's a religious building as well. And I want you guys to see this. All these guys are people who governed or ruled the country at some point. You can see Menelik is on the other side. And then the same way there's Haile Selassie. Do you remember this guy, Mingusu, Anna Mariam, and then all the other guys? That's it. And then now I just walk towards like this building, which is like this is the old palace. I will say the Unity Park is built pretty well, actually. So I'm walking inside the throne house. The throne house, which is also used by the Derg administration. So, this is the throne house, and that's the emperor, and the Samosi. So, at the throne house, you can see all the details about the Kawahita church celebration, and Christianity, Catholicism in Ethiopia. Protestantism in Ethiopia. Right there. The Queen of Sheba. Home to long distance running. Many endemic animals. And then you have the. The bread niggas. And all of this. I'm still walking through the whole place. Oh, very exciting. Really interesting. So, if you have the chance, check the poster. Oh, I should show you some of the leaders of the country. Haile Selassie. And yeah, that's Haile Selassie. And then on this side, there's something else. I don't know. For those who could read, I'm, uh, I'm here. Oh, letter to the Emperor. To the Tsar of Russia. Not him who led Derg. 
Okay, I don't know if you guys have heard of Dirk, but then yeah. And then on this side, he has. That's the first constitution of the country. Here's the view of the city of Addis Ababa. It's right there. And I've got to admit, this part is way better than I thought it would be. It is way better than I thought it would be. So yeah, it looks nice. The flowers are nice. And all of that stuff. Okay, I'm gonna go do something first. It's a banquet hall. You could eat all of that right there. Um, so yeah, this was built by the emperor to host like lavish dinners and everything. This is one of the pillars of the banquet. I want to show you guys how it looks like as I walk forward. I'll just walk and walk and walk. I want, you, I want to show you guys the entrance of the banquet hall. That's how it looks like. But that's the entrance of the banquet hall. So I'm in the banquet hall. I'm in the banquet hall and this is where lavish dinners were hosted. They've hosted a bunch of AU meetings here. During the Dirk era as well, there were a bunch of things that used to take place here and all that. There's a throne right at the end of the place. I'm not going to walk all the way to that place. And I'm going to walk back out because I don't have time to walk across the hood. So I'm just going to go. And then, yeah, it's amazing. Like, um, if y'all get the time, uh, visit Unity Park. It is, it is just as good as they say it is. And yeah, now I'm going to show you guys a view of me walking out. This is a view of me walking out the building. And yeah, y'all can literally, you can see how nice the building looks behind me. This is how nice it looks. I'm at the Unity Park Zoo. I don't know if you guys can see this, but those are meerkats. The meerkats right down there, and they're just chilling. Okay, they're hiding from the sun, but then yeah, those are meerkats, and I'm gonna show you all the explanation right here. It's right here. So, the meerkats are like, are they endangered? They're at least concerned, they're not endangered at all. Mammals on different. There are cheetahs down there, and then there's this guy. No, there are two of them right here. There are two of them right here. Then on this side, you got wild dogs. They're right there. There's a lion here, or Andresa and Amarilla. You can see them down there. They're such pale lions. And they're just chilling. There's one male lion, I think two female lions down there. And they're so and they're just chilling right there. I don't know if you guys can see them. Right there. And then the city's in the background. Look at these guys. These are zebras. Pundamilia and Swahili. Why are they Pundamilia? Because they're like donkeys with stripes. That's why we that's why we call them in Swahili. And they're gazelles right there. So now I'm going through the cultural sites. This is the one for Tigray. That's right behind me. And then now I'm moving on to the next one. And this is the one for uh, Amara region. They got lots of stuff going through them. And yeah. And then it's own cultural stuff. I wanna show you guys that. These are the Amara cultural items. Right there. This is from the Shango I don't know if you guys can see the right here. The Shango. So they're cultural items. All there. So I'm entering the SNNP one. I'm just gonna go through it really fast. The SNNP pavilion. 
You can see everything right behind me. And the SNNP is really diverse. It has people from all sorts of different ethnicities. It has people who are ethnically nilotic. Now I'm gonna go to the one from afar. The far region is dry and bad. But I've, I've been told the people have really good fruit and all of that. This is a, a far provision. This is how it looks like. This is a dead people. This is a Gambella one. The Anwak, the Nwer. These are people who are related to those who are ethnically from like South Sudan and stuff like that. They're almost the same. And I'm gonna head to Somali region. Region. Pavilion. This is the Somali region's pavilion. The sun is shining. The sun is shining. Pavilion for Harar region. They got art on the wall and they got art on the wall and that's it. And then I'm walking towards the Oromia Pavilion. You guys could read all about it. It's right there. They got like a tent. Which is moving up and down. Coffee cup made of clay. And their clothing. Down right there. I'm hopefully done with whatever was needed that needed to be seen. I think I am done. I think I am done. I'm pretty much gonna skip everything else. I promise this time. I'm pretty much just gonna skip everything else. So guys, that is Ethiopia written right behind me. In in Pedal, it reads as Ethiopia. So yeah, and that's it. That's my Unity Park vlog. I'm not just gonna walk out of the place because like I'm pretty much done doing more vlog. Somebody's yelling at their kids because they're like acting up. Okay. Visit. I recommend visiting Unity Park at least once. I know it's like 300 but in terms of local currency it's kind of it sounds kind of expensive but then it's worth it so I would recommend it. I highly re highly highly recommend it if you have the time just visit at least once. And then be like, you know, I went. It was cool. It was exciting. Like, I'm moving fast before they set up. People can actually come here and do their weddings as well. Do their wedding photos, by the way. Okay, hello guys. My name is Maingi. I am at Friendship Park with... Fer. Fer. Fer is gonna be uh, joining me for this vlog. Two days ago, I went to Unity Park. So we're gonna compare the two parks, see which is better and we're gonna let y'all know what our opinion is um now i'm gonna show you a view of the front this is friendship park you can see the ethiopian flag there there's a coffee shop uh there's a coffee shop on the right side and then there's a water there's a view of the city look at this it's beautiful we're gonna walk down now okay we're now walking down to the waterfront the stairs are huge I gotta be careful while walking down so as you can notice today fair was like you know I see you wearing green so I'm gonna wear the same <laughs> yeah <laughs> so fair how do you like Addis so far actually oh it's beautiful it's oh. beautiful okay. yeah I didn't expect to to see a big city okay. um, I like the smell of coffee everywhere. Okay. That's delicious. Okay. Meeting great people. Okay. Like me. Like <laughs> of you, course, of course, of course, of course. Of course. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah, hey guys. Okay. So I'm right next to the water and now I'm going to show you guys a view of the city. It looks amazing. Okay. The sun's on that side. So hopefully it's still okay. View of the city. That is commercial bank tower. That's the business district. They call it Mexico. Um, they named it after Mexico because the uh, Mexican government helped them um, during one time when uh, I think Italy was invading and then Mexico kind of stood up for them and the UN. So that area is now called Mexico. And then this is the rest of the waterfront. 
Yeah, and then that's the top of the other section with the flag right there. There it is. There are coffee shops everywhere and all that. Look at the grass. It's really, really green. And I think that says, that says Ethiopia. And so as we were walking around, we just saw a bunch of vultures. They're just chilling there, hanging. I think Fair doesn't like vultures. Why? Why Fair? I don't know. I'm just scared about them. Okay. Actually, they're really key to African ecosystems. Because when there is a, like an animal carcass, yeah. like an elephant or yeah, whatever. Yeah, 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 exactly. oh, yeah. Hello again, guys. We're in the section where it says Ethiopia. And then this is a view of the city. I'm just going to rotate slowly. Uh, view of the city. We're on an amphitheater. amphitheater. And then that's the view of the city. That is Commercial Bank Tower. That's the business district. They call it Mexico. Um, they named it after Mexico because the Mexican government helped them um, during one time when uh, I think Italy was invading and then Mexico kind of stood up 